Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie. Welcome to part four of my making a minimalist home tour. That's right. Today we're doing the bathroom reveal. It's finally finished. This making a minimalist home series is going very slowly. I talked about that on my second video in the series where I was antiquing or something like that. I just am a slow shopper and I go about things kind of slowly anyway. And it's been an issue that you know about because the audio in all of these videos so far in this new house has been super echoey. In fact, I have a mic today, a foot away from my face and we've covered some chairs and blankets because all the other rooms have no furniture in them still. But this is the first actual room reveal in my entire series and so I'm really excited to share it with you. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Maddie. I make weekly videos about minimalism and slow living. I, like I said, I'm going through my house showing what it's like to make a minimalist home room by room. Every room in the house and then doing a whole house tour at the end. I'm talking about my philosophy on things and just my life as a mom of two kids as a minimalist. If that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you so with that let's get right into this video so when we first moved into this house the thing that probably stood out to me the most that I really loved about it was this art deco super 50s bathroom pink tile on every wall and this really big blue tub if we own this house I still think I would have left both the tile and the tub because I just like it that much I like earth tones but I also am definitely not afraid of color I like color and so that is happening in this bathroom I started looking Looking through Pinterest how I could make things look even a little more retro I found this one bathroom tour that I really liked and she had a lot of rattan and gold accents beachy bohemian I would say that's the style for this bathroom so the first thing we did was take off the existing mirror I actually went through two different mirrors at first I was kind of overthinking it thinking like oh, we can't do gold because I'm not gonna change out all the other fixtures in this bathroom to make them all gold but then I tried I tried it and I decided it didn't look that weird to have both silver and gold fixtures. I decided to go with a retro looking light fixture. We took out, my husband did all this actually, took out the light fixture that was there and replaced it with a more retro looking gold one from Ikea. I think it looks a little more minimalist and a whole lot more retro. That was really all the renovating we did. My husband hung up a hook for me to hang up a hanging plant. I picked out towels. And after I picked out towels, I was between, many of you know, a blue rug and this more orange mustardy rug. Before the towels were in and before I had switched out the gold fixtures, I really liked the blue rug. A lot of you guys were saying this too, that the blue rug made the tub look a little more intentional. Once I got the gold fixtures in there, the orange earthy rug ended up being my favorite. I think it just pulls everything together. I think it looked a little better with the towels too. Since I have like really colorful towels, a more muted, even though it's not that muted, rug, I think just ended up looking better. Oh, and then the last, last thing we did was above the toilet, I had been looking all over Facebook Marketplace and offer up for a rattan plant shelf. And I finally found one. So in total, we spent about $300 to give this bathroom a little makeover and I am so happy with how it turned out. With that, I wanna give you guys the big reveal. But before I do, let's take one more look at how it looked before. And here it is now.
thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I post videos every week about minimalism and slow living. I'd love to have you subscribe if you're into that type of content. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you in my next one.